Hi, I'm Dana, and I have type 1 diabetes. Living with diabetes is kind of like having a second shadow. It is always there, day and night, and it's unnatural. Sometimes it draws attention, and I'm okay to talk about it because it truly has become a part of me. But there are other times where it creeps up behind me and tries to choke me out. And it's at those times I fear for the future. But I'm lucky enough to live in Edmonton, where world-class research happens. And it is a constant source of hope for me and other diabetics around the world. The ADI's mission, simply put, is to develop new therapies for patients with diabetes, uh, ultimately towards a cure, and then translate them rapidly to patients not just in Alberta, Canada, but also worldwide. Welcome to the Alberta Diabetes Institute. This amazing facility is partially funded by the Alberta Diabetes Foundation. The money helps bring in some of the best scientists in the world and pay for state-of-the-art equipment. So what sort of research goes on here? Diabetes itself is a very complex topic, so therefore we can't just take one particular approach towards curing diabetes. One unique approach is the clinical research unit where they do experiments on actual people as opposed to cells in a laboratory. What happens in that research unit allows us to actually do experiments on people rather than at the bench level and on cells. And that's really important because it allows us to translate our findings at the bench level all the way through to the human population. A really uh, amazing state-of-the-art facility which allows us to, to investigate the disease actually in humans. You hear a lot about funding here at the Alberta Diabetes Institute, and for good reason. This kind of research costs lots and lots of money. The Alberta Diabetes Foundation is incredibly important to our mandate. Um, we have 50 researchers here, world-class researchers, and the funding from the foundation allows us to do things that other research institutes and centers worldwide can't do. So it really provides us an Alberta advantage to push forwards our search for better treatments and ultimately a cure in diabetes. And if I didn't have diabetes, I'd still be a strong supporter because it really is such an incredible disease that is so pervasive that we need to get under control, uh, whether it's in the young children or in older adults. So it's a vitally important project to get behind and support. Supporting the Alberta Diabetes Foundation has been something that feels like our organization has been doing forever and it's an organization and cause that's close to our heart, um, both as an organization and our employees. It's something that we're all behind and we're pleased to support. We donate because we would like to one day find a cure for our daughter Jessica so that she doesn't have to have this disease that she lives with day in and day out. We'd like to help find a cure so that she doesn't have the challenges that she does in just living her day-to-day -day life. The profound effect diabetes has on so many of us is not lost on the scientists here at the Alberta Diabetes Institute. You know, we focus a lot as scientists on little tiny things, little cells and mice and rats and things like that. Um, but uh, through the Alberta Diabetes Foundation, we see that the work we're doing can be brought to a higher level to have some impact on, on the lives of, of people every day. Working on uh, diabetes, it, it, it's relevant, I guess, and, and just seeing people benefit from it, it, it yeah, makes feel good. <laughs> Without the support of the Alberta Diabetes Foundation and donors like you, the Institute would not be what it is today. A world-class research facility that's closing in on a cure. So I had to ask, are we getting close? Well, Dana, I think the good news for you is that in your lifetime, we'll very likely find a cure for this disease. I can't particular pin a particular year on when that will happen, but we're making uh, big strides towards that cure and uh, we'll keep going at it until we find it. And I was super happy to hear that. Knowing that a cure might be just around the corner keeps my hope alive. <laughs>